My name is John Kidd. I'm here from Dublin West. I live in Harristown. And tell us, why are you running in the, in the uh, upcoming election? I'm running here in Dublin West because I think it's an opportunity for the people to realise the cuts to frontline services that are happening in this area and right across the state. Uh, I'm particularly campaigning against for our national fire service because we have 30 fire authorities, that's 30 chiefs and 300 assistant chiefs. We believe that a national fire service is the best way rather than impose cuts on fire engines or ambulances that's been cut from this area. Plus, also campaigning to keep the hospital open in JCM and we also believe the government should seriously look at what the ECB have done to this country, i.e. made us take on unsecured debt. The unsecured debt we've took on, one third of it was unsecured bondholders, which is approximately 100 billion. I believe the government should renegotiate this. I believe people in personal debt, including young mortgage holders that live in this constituency, their mortgages should be also reduced by one third. If we don't do this, our economy will go nowhere and people will get further and further into debt and there will be more job losses. I also believe there should be no war taxes and the government should get away from that idiotic idea of spending 1.3 billion on putting water meters and fix the water, not only here in Dublin but nationally. And I also believe the way forward is this government called for the whistle charter to be brought in for public sector workers. I believe any public sector worker, he or she knows there's a waste of public money. They should be instantly dismissed, even though I'm formerly a public sector worker myself. This should get rid of the inefficient manage management that is in, in the public sector. Well, I represented the firefighters formerly for SIP2 and then we formed a breakaway union called the Irish Fire and Emergency Service Association where I brought my colleagues out of full-time, part-time service around Ireland and our ambulance staff. I also serve as Vice President of the European Firefighters Association and I'm a member of the Executive Board of the Global Alliance of Firefighters Unions and I sit there going to meetings in the USA talking about firefighters issues from cancer right down to numbers. And just to point out to our members here today is Ireland has the least amount of operational firefighters in the world. If you go to Northern Ireland, there's one chief and two assistant chiefs and 2,000 staff. We have 30 chiefs and 300 chiefs, yet on the operational front, we have less than 3,000 staff, full and part-time.